Unit 1. A Time to Remember. Page 2, Exercise 2, Conversation. Where did you learn to skate? Part A. Listen and practice. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Hey, I like your shirt. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am originally. I was born there. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did, but my family moved here 10 years ago, when I was in middle school. And where did you learn to skate? Here in the park. This is only my third time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. And I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Page 2, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are two more things you learn about Ted? Hey, that was fun. Thanks for the lesson. No problem. So, tell me a little about yourself. What do you do? I work in a travel agency. Really? What do you do there? I'm in charge of their computers. Oh, so you're a computer specialist? Well, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. That's great. Then maybe you can give me some help with the computer course I'm taking. Oh, sure. But only if you promise to give me some more skating lessons. It's a deal. Page 3, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Past Tense. Where were you born? I was born in Argentina. Were you born in Buenos Aires? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I was born in Córdoba. When did you move to Los Angeles? I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Did you take English classes in Argentina? Yes, I did. I took classes for a year. No, I didn't. My aunt taught me at home. Page 3, Exercise 4, Listening. Life as an Immigrant. Part A. Listen to interviews with two immigrants to the United States. Where are they from? Hui. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from near Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Ahmed. Where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the U.S.? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college, and after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh-huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods, everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so... I'm really looking forward to that. Page 3, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen again and complete the chart. Hui. 
Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from near Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Ahmed. Where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the U.S.? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college, and after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh Uh-huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods, everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. Page 5, Exercise 7. Perspectives. How have you changed? Part A. Listen to these statements about changes. Check those that are true about you. 1. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. 2. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I do. 3. I never used to play sports, but now I like to keep fit. 4. I never used to worry about money, but I do now. 5. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. 6. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I check headlines online every day. 7. When I was younger, I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. Page 5, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Used to. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past but don't do any more. Did you used to collect things? Yes, I used to collect comic books. No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. What sports did you used to play? I used to play baseball and volleyball. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis. Page 6, Exercise 9. Pronunciation. Used to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that the pronunciation of used to and used to is the same. When I was a child, I used to play the trumpet. When I was a child, I used to have a nickname. When I was a child, I didn't used to like scary movies. When I was a child, I didn't used to study very hard at school.